everyone, Andrew Praver here with Great Expectations Realty and today we are at the Ocala International Airport to show you exactly what we have here in Ocala and how you can book a flight. <laughs> Let's go inside and take a look. The Ocala International Airport has the claim to fame of having President Trump fly in on more than one occasion on Air Force One. But despite being large enough to handle 747s and the like, it does not offer your normal commercial flights such as Delta, American, etc. So you're probably going to need to fly in on one of the other local airports such as the ones found in Sanford, Orlando, Orlando International, Tampa International, or Gainesville. Let's talk about those. Speaking of Delta Airlines and American Airlines, both of those services can be found at our closest airport, which is Gainesville Regional Airport. In fact, using our office, of course, in Ocala as the destination location, it is only 47.2 miles to get from the Gainesville Regional Airport to our office right off of I-75 in Ocala. One of the largest and most well-known airports in all of Florida is, of course, MCO, which is Orlando International Airport. It only takes one hour and 20 minutes to get from the Orlando International Airport to the heart of Ocala, taking the turnpike, of course. And it does offer pretty much every single airline you can possibly think of from JetBlue to Southwest to Spirit to United, Delta, Alaska Airlines, you name it, they've got it. Many people don't know this, but there's actually two major airports in Orlando. There's, of course, the one everyone knows of, the MCO, Orlando Airport, but there's also the Orlando Sanford Infer International Airport, which is a fantastic option when coming to Ocala as it offers much less expensive flights through companies like Allegiant Air. Go to AllegiantAir.com to find out about tickets. To get from Sanford Orlando International Airport to Ocala, it takes about two hours if you want to take the scenic route through the Ocala National Forest, or you can go ahead and jump on the turnpike and it's only an hour and a half. Another option is the Tampa International Airport. It's only one hour and 31 minutes to get from there to the heart of Ocala. It has a lot of options as far as airlines, almost as many as Orlando International, in fact, and it's much easier to navigate when flying in and out of. So this could be a good option. Also, many of the cheap the flights are cheaper. Mm -hmm. 